painting is my passion You can paint along with me So please enjoy the video And don't forget to Hit, hit, subscribe Yeah Hit, hit, subscribe Hey guys, Patrick here for Passion of Painting uh, Today I'm going to do a how I paint a tree Or how to paint a tree but this is how I do it and I've come out to the woods as you can see just you know for inspiration and it's really nice out now so I figure I'd get outside and do a painting outside for you guys so I'm gonna move the camera over to, over here so that you can see the canvas better as I paint and we'll get to work sorry if there's any wind going it's very windy for some reason so if you see me quickly grab for the canvas or grab for my paint or my table that's why because of the wind so please enjoy all right now I've moved the canvas enough or sorry I've moved the what is this called the camera enough Whew, what a day what a day okay on my palette I have some burnt sienna some Mars black some titanium white some Cadmanian ye yellow I have some sap green some lime green some orange some uh, rose or a pink I don't know if you can see all these and a yellow 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 okra so I uh, got my canvas and I'm just gonna do a simple tree and uh, yeah, so let's get to work. First thing you wanna do is I like to take uh, my angled brush, which looks like this, and start off by doing the burnt sienna. Just gonna get into some of that, just like this. Okay, just get that on the brush, just a lot of it. Okay, and then we're gonna start at the bottom Okay, and work our way up. All right, and kind of get like an hourly glass, an hourglass almost type figure. Now you always want to make sure that your branches, you know, you don't want both, you don't want the tree to be asymmetrical. You want the tree to be whatever the opposite of that is. So, yeah, so I figure the breaking point will be right about here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, need a little bit of water here. This paint is very dry, so let me get some water in my cup. Okay. So I set up the camera. I guess these paints got a little dry. That's fine. You just add a little bit of water and then just come back and okay, I guess the tree will split right about here. Okay, so just what I like to do first is just fill in an entire brown. And another good point is to always make sure that the bottom of your tree is wider than the top. Do you see? Because there's no way, there is absolutely no way that your tree can hold itself up if it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay, so we're getting in that basic tree shape now. Like I said, okay, this only takes a takes a few seconds, and I am I am rushing it for film's sake, so you know, but you guys will get the you guys will get the basic idea of it. Okay, and then want the bottom. Okay, you want it to kind of go out in some spots at the bottom. I'm just doing this right now for for a uh, reference. Hold on. Like I said, I'm gonna get over into here. Okay, get my branches a little more defined. Okay, got the root structure going down there. Okay, got a little bit of root structure going. It's fine. Anyway, start out here and you know get this branch more defined, just like that. Come back in, get a little more paint, a little more wet paint. Very quickly outside. Especially when you're in the wind. Okay, now see that one I made, that one I made right here. Just a little bit fatter there, see, and you don't want that. So we'll come back in and we'll widen it there. Just like that. Now, that's like I said, that's my main my main branches, so get a little more water here. 
mix up this brown a little more and, and maybe we'll have a branch come off like that and then a branch go up here and a branch come down out of there branch come up over here maybe one here okay fatten that guy up just a little bit more okay and we want one to come out the middle and you can have some branches cross because hey if you look up in a tree guess what branches cross have this one go out and then we'll have one go down same thing here have this one go down we'll have this one here come out a little more have this one here a little more like this. This one go up. We'll have one come off of here. A little bit fatter. Okay, and then maybe down around here, we'll have one go out like this. And have one come down. Okay. And maybe right here, one will come out and down. Okay, so like I said, just a basic, basic, basic tree today. Okay. Here, this one extend out a little more. It has a little piece coming off. This branch here come up be bigger. Okay. Yeah. So just a basic, basic, basic tree. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do? Wash this brush. Now these are acrylic paints I'm using. I don't know if I mentioned that. Just knock that off some just to get the water out of it got my my script liner brush here I'm gonna get me some brown like that this brown is very thick for some reason very thick but anyway we're just gonna get it nice and wet all right on my script liner brush as I said I'm gonna get some brown then you want to come in and you can do very fine branches Okay, you want them to be twists and turbs, you know, you want them all, all different directions. Never all going the same way. Okay? You don't want them all like this, you know, this is, you know, this is a different tree. So always kind of curve and drop, droop. There's nothing here, you can do something really fun. Just come out and droop like that. I mean, it's branches, you know, I mean, if you've ever looked up in a tree, you know, you will see. Yeah, you will see how branches go. All different directions, all different. Sorry if my my palette here keeps getting in the way. My trusty paper plate. Okay, so right back into it. Had another little wind break there. Looks like we're gonna get another one right here. Mother Nature is not agreeing with me with the painting. But hey, most of my paintings are chaotic anyway, so why not do it in a chaotic environment? Like a place I've liked to paint before is go down, you know, if you're on vacation or something, or if you live near a beach, if you're lucky enough to do that, is go down to the beach and paint. And a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, a lot of people find it, oh, it is, yes, they say, oh, it is peaceful, but, you know, it, there's too much noise from either people or the waves crashing or seagulls and stuff like that. Well, see, I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy the noise because I find it challenging to, to push myself to, you know, to continue to paint. You know, when something is distracting me. Because I feel that's it just makes me just makes me a better artist, really. So yeah. So there's the branches. Okay, I mean you can keep adding, keep adding, and keep adding. Okay, and you always can. You never have to stop, really. But that's all I'm gonna do because, well, this is a this is a how-to video, how I paint trees. So not necessary to do all that crazy stuff to go nuts now I'm gonna grab a, a small filbert brush okay and I'm going to get some brown here and some white and mix them together to make a light brown 
maybe a little bit of yellow ochre too. I don't know if you can see that color there. But it's kind of a it's kind of a warm, a warm light brown. Okay, well since my sun is over here to my left, I'm gonna go ahead and put in I'm gonna go ahead and put in light source shadow on the side of the tree. Now this is what gives it depth. And then you see, you see what I'm doing here? I'm going out to where my I've marked my roots. Because now see that's a dark space, you see? And that's going to give that's going to give you your lights and your darks. Now see when you get up here to the curve of a branch, see the sun won't hit here anymore. So you're going to stop and continue up here. And then you can even go down a little bit so it shows real depth in the branch here just a little bit there's a little bit of sun hitting here okay stop it there okay well that's about it actually since this branch curls over so much there can be just a little bit of light on that side of the branch now what you're going to do is you're going to take go back to your original brown color okay and come in right next to it certain spots like here and here and here you know just every now and then to just blend out that edge because well it's acrylic paint and the paint has already dried as you can see I'm doing that there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little bit of black Ooh, the black's drying quick a little bit of brown and get kind of a dark color here maybe just a touch of green see that there and come over to what will be the opposite side of the tree and not not do too much but see like in the shadow area here okay and like going up the tree okay just in a few spots okay you don't need to completely darken this side of the tree okay and then the same thing come back with your brown again now you can repeat this with any colors that you want Take a little wind break here. I apologize again if the wind's real loud. Uh, all right. Okay, we've got a little green paint on my thumb. Dr. Green Thumb. Is that what it's called? Anyway, the brown. You come back into your black. Okay, and you can see here, see I can almost blend the black right out, but you still get the darkness of it, okay? So there, as you can see, you probably can see that. Yeah, I think the camera's showing it well that I'm blending it out and there you go now you can keep going into detail you know you can grab your uh, your script liner brush get some water go right into that dark color here you know and you can you can add you know just lines in the tree like this okay you can even add uh, you know maybe there's a big old there's a big old knot in the tree there's a hole. A little squirrel to live. Like Bob Ross always says, a happy little tree there. A little squirrel living in there. Okay, make sure you always follow your light source. So just like that. Okay. Wash my brush off again. Get back into my black. Okay, come down this side like so, and then come back into it just a little bit to blend the edge out. And there you go. You've got a hole in the tree. Rinse this brush off again. Just leave that brush in there. It's my liner brush. See, brushes like this, this brush here, here, a little, little point for you. This little one inch brush here from the hardware store, right here, was $1.99, okay? This script liner brush I have was $12.99 because it's a good brush. It's probably horsehair or something. But, yeah. But, you know, you always want to make sure what your expensive brushes are and make sure you really take care of them. Really take care of them. Actually, even this one, I'm going to put on my ear because it's, for the most part, it's the most expensive one I have out here besides this one, which was... I think it was like $12 or something like that. Anyway, now you see the tree. Now you can leave the tree like this depending on what your scene is.
But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of color to the tree to really give it some good depth. So we're going to tap the bristles, tap the brush right in to the sap green. Okay, and tap it around until it's, you know, you don't want the bristles to be, see that? I don't know if you can see right here. See here where it's, the bristles are all separated? And here where they're not, you don't want this because it will clump. So you want to tap all the way around until it's gone. Almost gone. All right, gone. Okay. Now you just want to, I actually want to set my, my palette down for this. A little bit more green paint on here. Actually, I'll just tap it right on the table here I got. Well, it might get a little sticky because the paint kind of kind of dried fast. Hopefully my arm's not blocking blocking you guys. But you can just lay in, you know, very easily. Okay. Some bristles. Sorry, some some leaves. Okay, and you can keep turning the brush to make sure you keep getting paint. Okay, and come down, alright. See? Now come back up here where it got a little thicker. Grab some of that paint and then move it over here. Come up over here and just give it a little more like this, just a little flavor. Okay, come out here. Lighter, I mean lighter, darker, that's fine. All right, well now what you can do is you can come back in with a little, let's say, yellow ochre. Yellow ochre, okay, and just get a little bit of, you know, you can touch here and there and here and there. Okay, like this. Touch of something here and there, like this. Okay. Just a little bit. All right. Now, like I said, this is a real quick tree, so I'm not going into any crazy, crazy detail. So that's it for that brush. Get that in the water so that doesn't dry on me. Now, what we do is we come into some gadmanium yellow here. Did you see here? Throw that out there into the woods. It's all not paints I use are all non-toxic so ain't gonna hurt nothing ain't gonna hurt nothing but you can come in with this guy okay and now you can throw you can come in here and just pick and choose you know your light source is coming from here so you can pick and choose the areas you want like this okay because your leaves your leafies are standing out a little bit so you can figure out exactly where you want your highlights to be. Okay, just like that. Okay, maybe put a couple here. Maybe there's a couple in here where the sun's shooting through. And that's about all there is to it to do a basic tree. Now, I mean, you're going to go into more detail than this and take your time. I did this in about 20 minutes. So once I edit it down, it should only be about probably 12 or 13 minutes. But, uh, yeah, but, you know, just a simple little tree. As you can see, I stopped. Yeah, this was just, this was just for the sake of the wind uh, going through the trees here. But, yeah, you can see the basic tree shape. Now, I mean, I would have scaled this down some and had the branches go out more. It kind of looks square because I was just following the canvas. But, you know, you could take them off the canvas. You can really just do whatever you want. Now, in my next, now, in my next video, what I'm going to do is... And I might just use the same painting, actually, once it's dry. In my next video, probably next week, I will do and show you guys how I do sun rays going through the trees. If you go back to my uh, video, it was called uh, Painting is My Passion. I painted a painting I named Sunny Afternoon. And I probably mentioned it before, but it won third place in the fine art show here downtown. There were 64 entries into the acrylic competition part of the event. And I got third place, so I was very excited with that. But it has many, many, many sun rays going through the tree because, let me, let me turn you guys back to the painting. Basically, around in here, the sun was behind the tree. And what I did was I showed it the rays coming like this all through. And I will show you that in another, another painting, how, how that's done and how I do that. So, yeah, that's basically how I do a tree. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me pop you guys off the thing here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Uh, I really had a great time doing it. It's a lot of fun. I love painting. It is my passion. And like I said, I'm completely self-taught, so... So, what you see is what you get. But, yeah, let's take a look one more time here. And get some close-ups on it. But yeah, not a bad little tree for... You know, only about 12 minutes of painting or so. Ah, so, yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. I thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. All the subscribers I can get are really appreciated. I think I got two more today. So you guys know who you are. I really appreciate it. Thanks again. And the next video will be up probably, I'd say, Tuesday of next week, maybe. You know, this week I said I was only going to get one painting video, and now I've got two. So also I'm going to have another vlog up tonight. We're taking Grandma out to eat. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.